Now today we'll be clearing out the ice in this Kenmore refrigerator and I know there's a number of videos already out there on YouTube but I figured maybe you can pick up something in this video that some of the others don't show. A lot of times they piece meal them together. Today I'm just going to put everything from start to finish and hopefully we turn out okay. Now this can be pretty darn heavy. If you have two people even better. So we finally have this removed and as you can see we have a bottom panel, seven it looks like Phillips size screws and then we'll back this off. Also make sure that you unplug it. Here we go. All right. Okay, so it looks like this may be a little bit of a newer unit than what I've seen online. But it looks like this is the drain pan. So in other words, this drains the water. But that being said, this looks like a... Yeah, this must be it. Look how gunked up this is. So we'll go ahead and remove this, clean this out, and uh, hopefully this should take care of the problem. So I'm going to remove this entire tube. It is held in place with a zip tie. And I'll just go ahead and install and use a new one once we, we remove this. Okay, once you have that off, move the camera so you guys can see this better. And by the way, I just unplugged the fridge. This is not hot by any means. Okay, there we go. Now just to show you how clogged this is, on the bottom of this valve there's a ton of debris. Not sure if you could see that, but if I just flush some water through here, it's not doing, let me fill it up here. As you can see, it's just completely clogged and that's why it's going on the bottom of the freezer and on the floor and so forth. So let's go ahead and clean this out, reinstall it, and this should be uh, the, uh, the fix to the problem. Okay, just a piece of metal, you can use a coat hanger. Just want to be careful so I don't puncture this line anywhere. There you go, yuck. Now, I've been in this house for a little over five years, so who knows the last time this was cleaned out. Apparently you should clean these every five years, but nonetheless, pretty nasty stuff. Now I'm just going to flush some hot water through it. Make sure it works. Okay, this just slips up in here. This goes in here. And then we'll just throw a zip tie around it. Now the bottom of the plate has a little prong back here. So you just want to make sure that this backing fits behind this lip. Get that out of the way. Okay. So if you try to pull on the bottom, it doesn't go anywhere. Okay, so on the bottom I have some ice here. Now the bottom tray, I just lifted out and removed, okay? I didn't unbolt anything, just it's a big plastic tray, just remove it. And then the bottom here, right here, there's a little tab. As you can see, this pops right out. Okay, so right here, right here, you just move up, and this is ready to come out. Oh, there we go, that one goes down. So on my left, this goes down. On my right, it went up. Okay. So 
now I need to remove this back cover. On the bottom, there's some ice I want to clean up because typically there's a drain tube somewhere or a drain hole. You just want to remove any uh, iced up conditions that may uh, currently be there. So that being said, this is a trim removal kit. This is really made for vehicles to remove interior trim pieces. But the point here is you need a tool, something like that has a 90 degree degree angle as you see here. Just trying to see where I'm going to grab this from. This should be okay. So what you're going to do, essentially see how I can get the tool behind there and pull. And that's it. And then if you keep your hands in there, ideally that's what you want to do. So you can get on the other side here. And that's it. Okay. Peel this down. And very quickly, as you can tell, there's nothing running right now, and that's because I turned off the power running to the fridge. I don't want to pull the fridge back out and unplug it. So I just turned off the power. Nothing is running because right here is a fan. So you want to turn off the power before you stick your hands back here and pull this out. So I essentially just peeled back the panel, and it's just sitting on top very, very comfortably. And all I and you really need to get to is right here. As you can see, there's a lot of freezer buildup. But I'm just going to clean that out with some very warm water and that's it we'll be all done now a lot of times you could just use a turkey baster which I happen not to have so I'm just going to use a hair dryer and then once you're done the best you can now this is pretty strong this plastic just press it back in place and you'll be in good shape so that's what it takes to clean one of these drain plugs. As you can see, really not too bad. The hardest part for me was just pulling out this fridge. The thing weighs quite a bit. But start to finish, maybe an hour, so it wasn't too bad. Any questions, comments, please leave it below. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.